हेलो एवरी वन आई एम मोनिका फ्रॉम आइल्स नाइन यू कैन सी दिस ऑस्ट्रेलियाज लॉस्ट जॉइंट रीडिंग दैट रीडिंग फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव डन इन प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड इन दिस प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैड कम्प्लीटेड विच पैराग्राफ कंटेन्स द फॉलोइंग इन्फॉर्मेशन थॉरली आई हैव डन दिस दिस क्वेश्चन दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन आई हैव नॉट डन एनी हरी और हेस्ट दैट आई हैव टू फिनिश दिस रीडिंग विद इन लिमिटेड टाइम एंड ऑल so in this in this part we will be doing mcq so here also from 6 to 9 questions mcqs and of course another question is also there see this 6 to 9 but different type of question mcq see this in one question they were saying one and here in one question they are saying to choose two options two options here also for one question for one number you have to choose two option here also in ninth number for one number you have to choose two options so that's tricky question actually so let's start this reading question so that is question number 6 to 8 nothing they have given any instruction only they have given this judith fields opponent's claim what her opponent's claim we know this location this person's location in one paragraph so i will not be reading any option we will just go to this person's name this word will take us to the location and then we will come to know we will try to find what the uh, her opponent's claim was what there if you have not done reading part 1 with me doesn't matter so we have to find this person's name anywhere so we will just move our pencil like that fields judith judith fields fields we have to find always find the keyword like that this person name is there but we are looking for judith and actually person's name always start with uh, capital that's why it is easy to find and i have already done my homework while doing first type of question that's more important here in this paragraph nothing is there so i have to move to another paragraph so here this person name is there so let's read it what she is saying kadi springs in can demonstrate this case uh, without a shadow of doubt judit an archaeologist is currently most vocal she discovered megafauna as well stone this was a significant discovery she claims but we are not looking for her claims her opponents so i have to look for opponents also okay critics critics means opponents field added critics argue that original locations of fossils were altered means changed and were replaced by younger sediments younger sediments means uh, uh, sand uh, younger sediments kind of thing okay original locations of fossils were altered and were replaced by younger sediments now let's read the options so now you can see this this is the uh, opponents and the fossils what opponents claim the fossils of some younger animals were found in kadi fossils of sung no uh, they are saying something original locations there was a uh, coexistence of humans and megafauna this is not described over the layers were found yes younger sediments yes sands layers are always there where fossils were found had been displaced original locations uh, were altered so it means we will just go this read it again because only this line they are saying about critics or opponents of this uh, judith fields we have to find the location with the help of this word and after that we were uh, i just found this opponents opponents he had written critics and they are talking about original location of fossils were altered means displaced or changed or you can say this that's why this is the answer now next word judith field claims now what is her claims she is claiming here see this in this paragraph same now we have already uh, read it twice uh, to most currently is uh, the because where we have found the location somewhere uh, to one or two lines you should read it she discovered as well as mega bones uh, megafauna bones and stool, stone tools there are two strategy over they suggest that okay she claims that there are okay so we know the what she was claiming she made a great discovery in 1991 so this is also written the uh, is currently the most vocal in 1991 she discovered this and this 
this is also given correctly she found fossil fuels remain of giant animals in layers of sediments very close to those which had stone tools in them she found claims that two strata displaying the affiliation one around this and this this suggest people and uh, fossils of remain giant animals in layers of sediments a spring is that we have cross people but here now she is talking about people and megafauna okay one more option is there see this one more option i can see she was most vocal about kadi springs kadi springs is also there in south wales as well as uh, as an important archaeological site this is not uh, archaeologist she was but here we focus we should focus over here is currently the most vocal in 1991 or most vocal uh, the most she was the most vocal about kadi spring no she was most vocal about these two claims uh, megafauna bones as well as stones so this is not matching so here location you can see this here as she field claims she made a great discovery in 1991 uh, we will go exactly it is given she discovered megafauna bones is currently the most vocal in 1991 she made a great discovery she discovered again it is written so we will just go a number or no she made a great discovery in 1991 but she is talking about this also she found fossil fuel so always try to um, understand the things she made fossil fuels remain of giant animals in layers of sediments very close to them which had some yeah this is also given actually uh, she claims this is the location let's read it she claims that there are two strata because everything is given now every student is confused that's why you need to understand what the statement is saying so of course this is also given so but what are her claims this is not her claim this is claimed by any other person uh, like not by any other person i mean to say the writer is saying she is uh, currently the most vocal but her claims are here there are two strata displaying the affiliation one around this and this this suggested people and coexisting for at least and megafauna as well as bone stones stone uh, tools so we will just go with b number not a number okay so that is the answer now next we have which of these two which two of these possible reasons for australia's megafauna extinction are mentioned in the text okay choose two letters from e to e means for one mark for one number uh, one mark you need to select two options if one option is wrong then your answer is wrong if two both options are correct then your answer is correct okay so that we have already read human activity disease loss of habitat drop in temperature uh, the introduction of new animal species okay these five options they have given and let's find australian megafauna extinction so we know this location see this in c paragraph they were talking about extinction because here they started australia's uh, megafauna kind of thing and megafauna extinction it is con uh, confounding to witness the melancholy of australia's large animals for a quite long time uh, and researchers put aside any other causes for extinction other than environmental changes okay other than uh, environmental to be sure australian had been australia has been drying out for more than 1 lakh ten, whatever the years and the megafauna were confronted with landmass where vegetation had started to vanish okay so here i had just vegetation had started to vanish it means their home their they loss of their habitat habitat and of course uh, yeah in next uh, here we have got this and uh, next uh, proposed that who moved into continent uh, centuries used ago used fire to hunt and this also fire to hunt means people people who moved on to the continent around 50 centuries ago used fire to hunt this was accompanied by deforestation 
so drop in temperature is not the an answer in introduction of new species so human activity because they used to fire um, to hunt so this is also an activity they are talking so these two we have selected out of these a and c so in answer sheet in front of a you will be writing uh, a this is question number and a and c you will be writing like that okay now ninth number the list below shows uh, shows possible forms of proofs for humans having contact with australian uh, megafauna okay so that i know where somewhere they were talking about people and um, australia megafauna they were talking in one paragraph mm, proofs show possible forms of proofs we have to find the proofs for humans having contact okay uh, now these are the look, uh, directions now these are the options so we will just read the location first so we have found this location here in c paragraph let's find d paragraph also i have done uh, underline for that yeah here when we were doing this above question people and megafauna yes we came to know this suggests that people and megafauna coexisted in australia for at least 20000 years what cuddy springs reveals is that you have a long crossover of people and megafauna existed together field id critics and all now what we are going to what proof they are asking na what possible forms of proof possible forms of proofs for humans having contact okay now here they have started talking about people and um, megafauna coexisted now here nothing they have given proof then we have to read the paragraph uh, here they are talking about we know it here in this paragraph they were talking i am just giving you um, the time to read they were talking about some cave and the open mouth and and some uh, person they started looking into this uh, was discovered in 1830 uh, regional officer this person named lowered down himself into the cave utilizing a rope snared sna snared into a hole in a cave the hole was actually a bone 12 months later a surveyor this another person examined the caves in the area and gave richard who was recognized later for and revealing the existence of dinosaurs extinct extinct in this cave bones were found in this in uh, sediments in mammoth cave that consist of fossils were dug out and studied in a haphazard manner as a result of this no scholar agreed with these findings yet a single bone particularly captured dramatic attention femur with a wound possibly left by a sharp tool a bone with a wound femur with a wound possibly left there by a so this this we can particularly captured attention means see his uh, we can just read it now a bone injury yeah the bone injury caused by man made inject object sorry wound is an injury so indirect synonym they have given by a sharp tool it means that that we can select but we have not got, gotten anything other else shall we read it or let's read the options bones near to early types of weapons bones no man made holes designed for trapping animals proof they want proof for humans having contact with so that is not mm, uh, preserved images of megafauna species animal remains at campfires let's find these images and campfires one more paragraph is left so sadly the earth conserves its history the mere existence of forest is uncertain rivers change their course and all sadly the earth converts cons conserves its history in a choitic manner the stories constructed from time to time have limited various rock art port what is rock art portrait portrait means yes something they have portrait means image is kind of painting australia's first people the painting of this a megafauna uh, on rock in was examined by in australian another site shows what seems to be hunter with either uh, in another site shows what seems to be hunter and this tiger in more recent historical era extinct as they were bigger compared to tasmanian who survived so here i think they are talking about rock art preserved images of megafauna species we can dry we can animal remains so this is not given anywhere man-made holes designed for trapping animals this this doesn't show nothing is explained 
whole caves were given but nothing explained about whether it was man made or not okay so the, we have selected a and d for ninth also a and d we have selected for a for 8th 8th and c 